How's everybody doing today? Alfred Flores, CEO, President of New Age Electric. Um, while we're waiting on my material to come in to start doing our lighting control demonstration, I'm going to be doing some pro tips and how to avoid some of these uh, issues and problems that ha occur when you're actually doing pricing updates. And I didn't go into depth in our last uh, demonstration on uh, supplier exchange so we're gonna jump right in I'm gonna show you a scenario that might happen when you're doing two different things because you might see that your material pricing keeps changing and you can't figure out why I'm, I'm gonna demonstrate why that's happening so let's, let's jump into it okay so in, in your extension you're gonna have you should have price codes assigned to almost everything besides who, what doesn't have some price codes. So I got some stuff that doesn't really have price codes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click send a supplier link. And right now, I'm gonna show you that I have it set to alternates none. In, in my professional opinion, you should have no alternates at all you should have your your price codes should be exactly what you're installing in the field my professional opinion uh, you can not agree with that it's totally fine but I'm gonna show you what happens when you do this so so we're gonna send this back to the supply house and then I'm just gonna pick CD because my database is based off of CD I hit OK Okay, so everything came in. Um, there are some things that are not working, but I'm still working on that. So we're gonna send this back to the job. Hit okay. All right, so you're, you're gonna notice that these did not change. You didn't grab alternates, you didn't grab anything. Um, this did, I don't know why it did, but it changed. Uh, the blue signifies it did change <clears throat> so let's look at this bottom number we got thirty five thousand dollars worth of material um, this is just uh, something I put together for the previous tutorial it really doesn't signify anything the main thing is right here this thirty five thousand three hundred one forty one so you see these are not blue they did not change because they are using the exact price codes that I told them to use. Now let's jump back in the send supplier link again. I'm going to close out the other one so we're not getting confused. And let's say, well, let's, you know, you're going back in here and you want to be, well, I want to check to see if the alternates would bring down my, my material costs. Okay. So we'll go to settings, options. And we'll go to cheapest. We'll send that back. We'll use um, CD. It's fine. Hit OK. Now it takes a little bit longer. Um, I'm. It, it it is trying to compare the two and get the differences and whatnot. So there are quite a few. I probably see almost 65, 70 percent they found an alternate for so let's let's before we send this over we're gonna we're gonna click this and hit yes before I hit OK remember 35,341 we're gonna hit OK that basically cut it in half just about now I'm not checking you know what these are and what it is all I know is they changed the price codes for me so everything that's blue got changed and, and that could be I know firsthand that the receptacles usually get lowered because they find something lower um, there's always conduit and cat six and stuff like that so just ignore that for right now so you could tell that this can significantly drop that's the point here okay here's the second thing you understand remember these price codes were changed they're no longer 
the price codes you had other than what didn't change. So now if we go, ah, something's wrong here. I don't want to drop that much. There's got to be something wrong and, and you don't got time to look at every single thing over again. Okay, let's jump back in the supplier link. I'm going to go back to settings, options, and then hit none because I want to go back to what I had before. I'm going to hit OK. Send pricing to the job. Guess what? Nothing changed. You want to know why nothing changed? Because your price codes. Your price codes were overwritten when you did that. Um, look for alternates. Now this took me years and years and years to figure out why this kept changing and and I'm I'm getting I was getting three different prices sometimes and it was it was ridiculous and until I it just dawned on me and like wait a minute the pricing codes are changed how you can't go back so you're wondering well how do I go back well the only way to actually get rid of all the 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 price codes for the alternates is you got to hit um, re-extend I believe it's up to update all the yeah all the pricing and actually we'll do it for all it it, it doesn't matter but you do not understand that it's gonna do this for everything so anything you change via be uh, labor and pricing updates it's gonna wipe it back to what your database has it. So if I hit OK, it's going to tell me re-extending will update all extensions with the values from the current material database for the elements you have chosen. And then we hit OK. And there you go. You have your original price codes now. Um, just understand that the link pricing is still there from the last one. So if we now update this one more time, and let me just double check that there is no other alternates, so no alternates. Now if I pick CED, give it a second, okay, we're going to send this back to the job, hit OK. And there you go. So now your material went back to that 35,304, It updated all your link codes for this. And, you know, price codes did not change because no alternates. You want to use what your supply house, what you called them, and, you know, what you want to include. So, this is like the the pro tip. If, if you're getting scared because you're seeing a price drop when you do alternates and you want to go back, and then you see that the price didn't go back to what you had it before, this is the reason why. I love to share this kind of stuff because it happens all the time and people don't realize that your price codes are changing. Once you change them, you got to default them back because that's the only way you're going to get back your original price. Once again, Alfred Flores, New Age Electric. Any questions, comments? Uh, if you guys want to see anything, I'm excited for the upcoming videos. Uh, it, it's gonna take a little while to get some of this material. I'm working with the supply house. If not, I might have to dive into my own pockets for some of these parts and pieces. But I will hopefully be getting that going. Uh, thank you for watching.